morning guys I have my coffee out here this morning it is the 22nd on a Thursday and it is pretty cloudy if we're supposed to get some storms later well, I don't know about storms but rain starting at three o'clock which I really hope is true because we really need the rain otherwise I have to water my garden today I'm enjoying these little blossoms here I did fertilize my my fruit right there so it's starting to swell up now so that's good can't wait to taste these these are scallop squash I guess they taste really really good I have not tried them before so we'll see I had to use one of these garlic heads right away because one of the cloves was damaged when I was harvesting it so we got 11 cloves off of that one in the hard neck this this is what's in the middle of the hard neck just one little thing and then the cloves are around it so this is in the middle the hardneck variety is what we can grow here in Wisconsin because they like cold weather. I'll show you what I got going on here. I just finished The Good Girl, the book The Good Girl. Oh my gosh, I recommend that one because the ending was like, what just happened? <laughs> it's really good, so definitely recommend that one. Anyway, I have, this is hamburger for shepherd's pie. This is uh, maybe a half a pound of hamburger, spaghetti sauce, kind of deal with fresh basil for spaghetti tonight and then over here I have a mix of pork tenderloin and pork or maybe I got beef in there I don't know whatever I had in my freezer I think it it was supposed to be pork so I think it's a pork roast of some sort and I have that going on this is where I found that recipe we made it last year and it was so good. It was so, so, so good. And we made all of these different meals. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. If we're going to make these type of meals or, or if we're going to try something else with it. But the way they had this in the slow cooker made, it's really good. And there's the directions if you want to pause it. And, write, and I made it exactly like it said. I did add some um, liquid smoke though. Just like a half a teaspoon. Okay, I'm going to bring you along and show you how to make this shepherd's pie. You need a pound of ground beef. I'm just using three quarter of a pound because I use the other part for that. I use about a half a pound for the spaghetti and then three quarters of a pound for this right around. And I put a small onion in there, chopped it up, and that's what I have in there so far. I did add a little pepper flakes and onion powder. But that's what I have in here so far and I've got this on medium high heat. I just started it up. I'm going to mince some garlic real here, here real quick. So I've just got two cloves of garlic here. This is the garlic I just picked from my garden. It's so, so strong right now. So there's my spaghetti heating up here. I put the garlic in my mincer here. About a half a cup of ketchup. I'm going to add that in here after this is brown. Now, normally you would have your potatoes on the stove and ready for them to mash, but I am not going to be doing that right away because I've got my spaghetti on here. So after my spaghetti is done and I get this pan cleaned out, I will be working on my mashed potatoes. Okay, this is pretty much done here. I'm going to go ahead and add the ketchup. A tablespoon of dark brown sugar, tablespoon of the Worcestershire cider sauce, tablespoon and a half maybe. Give this a stir. I'm going to turn the heat down now because it's done. Next we're going to add the whole bag of frozen sweet corn. I'm going to add a little bit of chicken broth in here because the hamburger is not, I'd say maybe half a cup of water and I don't have chicken broth so I'm just gonna use, I'm gonna use a little of this bone broth stuff. Maybe a teaspoon of that or so. And that'll make the chicken broth with the water because it was just not juicy enough. So that is much better now. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to put about a 
cup of shredded cheese on here. Now this meal is mainly for Nick. We'll probably have it one night, but Nick will eat the rest of the leftovers. So the cheese isn't going to be that big of a deal. It, are, it has hamburger in it already. It's going to be a high point meal anyhow. So I use a mix of Colby Jack cheese and Cheddar Jack. I'm going to weigh this out. So this is about three and a half ounces. I'm going to use my fancy shredder. This I got from Pampered Chef. It's got a cover that slides over the top of it. In this little thing here, you push the button and it opens up to flat like that. Or you can do that with it, which is what I'm going to do. Okay, so that's about a cup, I think, maybe even a little more. So I don't need quite as much of this. I'm going to go weigh this chunk. This one is two and a half ounces. And that, I think, is plenty of cheese, even for Nick. <laughs> we got six ounces of cheese here. And that's definitely plenty to go over that. Okay, this has been simmering for about five minutes now. And that is good. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to let this cool on my countertop. I'm going to throw a little cover over it. And I'm going to stick this whole pan in the refrigerator until I'm ready for the potatoes to start. All right, I've got the spaghetti done here. And then these are the containers I'm going to be transferring it to. We'll see how many servings I get out of this. I got seven servings out of that. Not bad the potatoes in to boil now and then we will be able to get the shepherd's pie in the oven putting a little cooking spray just sprayed over this was about to boil over even with my wooden spoon on it and then I just sprayed a little quick spray with this like that and it just all went away drain the potatoes mash them put a little bit of butter and milk in there they're pretty um, thin, so I want to be able to spread them over this. So now what I'm, ooh, just about dropped that on the floor. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply sprinkle the cheese over this. Eclipse go. Always in my face. Okay. And it calls for more cheese than that, but I think that's plenty. Now, I'm going to put you on the tripod and show you how I spread the potatoes over this. Okay, so we're just going to plop this around. I think Nick is totally going to love this. Okay, I'm gonna get a smaller spoon because this like peels up the cheese. I'm gonna have so many dishes to do, guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, so. Try to get it all in one layer, one thickness. Okay, now I'm gonna put this in a 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes. I'll bring you back when this is done. I'm going to check it at 15 minutes though, just to be sure the top isn't burning. After 15 minutes, and I think it can definitely handle another 15. Okay, this is coming out and it looks really good. So I'm just going to leave it sit now for about 30 to 45 minutes before I cut it up and put it inside our storage containers. Those are the leftovers of the shepherd's pie. We got two four cup containers it's full. It's pretty tasty. I'd like to have been able to eat in that, but I didn't I have know. that many points. We both had a little taste of it. It is really good. Right here. Let's take a sneak peek. Oh boy. That looks so good. We're going to leave this go another probably hour or so. It's weeding my garden. And then I almost stuck my hand in this little guy. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> now, seeing things like this, though, tells me this is definitely an all-organic garden. Let me give you a better look of him. Seriously, he's beautiful, but do I want to be his best friend? No. No, I do not. We picked one of the cabbages. The other one's still not big enough yet, but we don't want to 
harvest both of them at once anyhow because that would be way too much cabbage to eat in one week. One day, another garlic that I forgot, it was hiding underneath my sunflower. Also have a little bitty watermelon right there. So cute. So this is what we harvested today. This zoo, this um, cabbage is really big. So that'll be good for frying up for one of our vegetables tonight or tomorrow night. Another zucchini, some more purple beans, and a lot of peas, and then a few more cherry tomatoes. And then those we got yesterday. And then our new, our new um, garlic. I put the garlic in our bathroom, hanging up from the shower rod. Let me show you. There they are, in all of their glory. We are not using the shower right now. We use the one downstairs because this one is leaking, so we have to get it fixed. So I'm having my coffee, the second coffee that I showed you earlier. Watching B, because I haven't watched her yet today, and I'm just kind of enjoying sitting down for 15 minutes. And I've got some laundry folded, but I have more to go down there. <laughs> but I'm just chilling right now. 15 minutes, that's all I want. I'm watching Sandy now. I think I have enough time. She's singing happy birthday. I love that about Sandy. Having the rest of this watermelon for a snack today. Putting this whole recipe into the app ended up being 13 points per bowl of spaghetti. Still not too, too bad, but I'm glad I kept it light throughout the day. I do have four points left yet to roll over if I choose to roll that over, but I do have four points left, so that's good. And then I'm having a seltzer water and that is dinner tonight it's really good by the way i did a little taste test earlier today but i did count those i did count it for three points it's now cooled and ready to go at 7 30. so this is all cooled off and i can put this in a container as well and i am done cooking for the night yay good evening guys be sure to stay tuned in for my weigh-in results at the end of this video right after this so let's go into the weigh-in, or the weigh-in, the Weight Watchers app. And we are on Thursday. I have four points left to roll over. Coffee was just my breakfast. That was it. Lunch, I had two eggs with Velveeta cheese over it, like in between it. That was really good. That was delicious, actually. The really uh, melted cheese in between there. Mm, it was good. Probably because I was so hungry, too. And then dinner was just spaghetti. I don't even have to go into these. I'm trying to make this quick so I can talk longer to you guys. And then snacks. I'll go in there. We just had some samples of both the shepherd's pie and the spaghetti, which were both very, very good. And then I had a cup of fresh watermelon. Simple day today. I didn't eat a whole lot, but that spaghetti really filled me up. So now stay tuned for my weigh-in. Own oh, 40 ounces of water. Still not the best. Stay tuned for my weigh-in results. We will talk to you here in just a second, guys. Bye-bye. Good evening, guys. Sorry for the really weird lighting in here. I'm in my bedroom because the boys are out there watching TV. So I came in here where it's a little quieter. And I moved my elliptical in here, if you can see that behind me. And that way I can watch out in the woods and watch the deer out there while I exercise. So I'm going to try to get some of the exercise in on the elliptical. I have weigh-in today. I'm pretty happy with them, although I... You know, you always want higher than you get, but at least I'm still going downward. I lost 0.8 this week, which I'm I'm totally fine with. As long as it keeps going down, I'm going to be okay. And I've been I've been really working hard. The only things that I notice about myself this week is that I have had more carbs and less water. So those two things are two things that I want to work on this next week is getting less carbs and more water and see if that brings up my weight loss a little bit. Now, today you guys saw I had spaghetti, so that's not technically low carbs, but it is weigh-in day and I always have something kind of good on weigh-in day. So tomorrow it will be a lot better, a little bit lower carbs. Although I still, I'm still going to have carbs, just not, I'm going to try to limit the bread. I've been eating a lot of bread lately and rice and pasta. So those sorts of things I'm going to try and lessen a little bit and see if that will help this week for weigh-in. Right after I got done eating my spaghetti, I went in and brushed my teeth really well. In that way, I know in my brain that I'm done eating. I don't even seem to get hungry after I do that. It's really weird. So I think that's just installed in my brain that when once you brush your teeth, you don't eat anymore after that. 
it works for me. So I'm going to keep doing it. I want to talk about the app a little bit and what I've been doing, and it's really been helping me stay on track and like not go over my points is I set up in my snacks. I set up like a reserve points for four. So I set up and put reserve on it and then put it for four points. And I just do a quick ad that way and just call it reserve. And then that way at the end of the night, I can go in and take that out, which is what I did tonight. And that's why I ended up having four points left. Most of the time, I'll forget about that reserve that I have in there as long as I track it like the day before. So I've been doing that. In fact, I've been going through a couple days ahead and putting that in as reserve to hold that four points for rollover. Or if I happen to go over in points that day, technically I didn't go over unless I really went over. The one thing though, I've been trying to really strive for a blue dot all month and I didn't do it because the one day remember when i said i've been counting those chips wrong i had two bags of chips one one day and one another day and i caught the one that was just a couple days ago i caught that one put it in as 12 points because it was two and a half servings for a little tiny bag so i ended up um, counting it for five and then i i decided to look at the bag and look at the calories and then i noticed two stripes you know calories for one calories for another and then i'm like oh my god this is not just one serving so i looked at it two and a half serving so it was i think 11 or 13 points for the whole entire bag so i went back found where i had the first bag of chips and put that in the app and then I, was, I wasn't in Blue Dot anymore. So that really stunk. So it was one day this month that I was not in Blue Dot. And so now I have to try again next month. So if you guys want to join in on this challenge with me, put a comment down below and let me know. And then we can all do this challenge together. And you can watch my video every day to see if I get that Blue Dot every day. Join my Facebook group. The link is down below in the description box. Today, I also made all of these meals up. And it was... It wasn't fun at first, but now that it's nighttime and everything is made and in the fridge and in leftover bowls and everything, I'm like, oh, I love it because I don't have to cook all week now. Well, it's Thursday, so technically all weekend and probably Monday too, I won't have to cook, which I was really not wanting to cook on the weekend. I just want to sit and relax with Corey. We watch our shows on the weekend and then we go out to the garden on the weekend. And I've been really going back and watching my old videos and kind of getting a feel for how I felt in those days and I know how happy I was. I was just so happy in those videos knowing that I was losing, you know, two, three pounds a week, which it's not coming off as fast now, but I'm still not going to stop doing it. I'm not going to get depressed about it. I'm just going to keep on chucking along. 0.8 pounds in a week, it's a loss and I'm going to take that and I'll just do better next week get those carbs out of here because I'm pretty sure that's the reason that and not drinking the water because when I was losing like a pound to two pounds I was drinking a lot of water those first couple weeks and I remember too back in my old videos that when I had big losses like three or four pound losses in a week I was drinking a lot of water so I think it has something to do with it so I'm going to try to definitely get those get that water in I didn't get enough water in tonight I'm going to have another probably 20 ounces yet before I go to bed tonight. So that'll bring it up to 50 ounces, which is better than I have been doing. And then tomorrow I'm going to fill up my half gallon jug that I showed you in earlier videos because I've been using my Weight Watcher carry mug. It's like 20, 22 ounces, 24 ounces, something like that. And I've been using that and I've just been counting it for 20 ounces because I have ice in it too. That spider in the garden though, guys, it just, it kind of made me smile because Normally, I would not want spiders anywhere near me, but knowing that it's in the garden, catching all those bad bugs that attack my plants, I'm going to leave it there. But I will remember that it's there now, and I won't almost put my, oh, I almost put my hand right in it. And I'm getting the chills just now thinking about that. It was just so, oh, and I've never seen a spider like that before. If anybody knows what that kind of spider is, let me know. We're in central Wisconsin. And I've never seen a spider like that. We have a lot of great big giant black wood spiders, but I've never seen a spider like that. It's kind of freaky. That's about all I have tonight. I just wanted to give you guys the weigh-in results. Be sure to like and subscribe if you liked this video. And be sure to share it if you think anybody else may like it. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow for another What I Ate. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I know this video got a little bit long. We will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.